everyone and welcome back to the stream. I know it's been a little while since I've been on, but we're back and we are doing another snack crate unboxing. Foodie Friday. Yes, yet again, we are on vacation. Yes. And we are going to the Caribbean. Yes. yes the Caribbean Islands is our exploration tonight. Yes. Indeed. And it's actually on a Friday this time, so... Huzzah! Yeah, the special, actual Friday edition of Foodie Friday. <laughs> yes. This is it, folks. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get a little information about the Caribbean. Alrighty. So, the number of islands in the Caribbean is over 700. The regional governments... They have 13 sovereign states and 17 dependent territories. The population is 43,601,839. That's a little bigger than where we are. That's quite a bit bigger than where we are at. Yeah. Wow. And then the area is 1,063,000 square miles. That is something you don't really think of, you know? Don't forget to show them the pretty picture. Yes, and we have a pretty picture today. There's an absolutely pretty picture. It's got a, a little a pirate looking. I, I think image. they're trying to capitalize. Caribbean islands. Ooh. You know yes. what? I would read about Caribbean pirates any day. Have read. Will read again. <laughs> yes. So well. are we going to dive right in here? Absolutely. All right, Alrighty. get your swimsuits on. Special <laughs> unboxing. There We're going goes. in. <laughs> get your snorkels out. Oh, dang. Snorkels? The first snorkel <laughs> joke, and I can't take it. <laughs> We're doing this thing. Ooh, what is it? We have HTB Ginger Biscuits. Ginger Biscuits. Let the audience see it. Ginger Biscuits. I swear if these are ginger snaps, I'm gonna... If they're ginger snaps, I am sold. Ah, I love it. Now we get to watch me struggle. You know what? Nope. Queen is a thing for every occasion. Bicycle. <laughs> Ooh, they're really thin. Ooh, they're like wafers. Oh. Bro. It smells like a gingerbread man. It is like a ginger snap. This is a gingerbread man who has lost some weight. The gingerbread man has been dieting. I love it. They're not very in your face, but they're still a ginger snap, and I love it. It's alright. I think we've affirmed on this show that I'm an old woman at heart. <laughs> so, uh... Or European, I guess? I would rate these personally a 4 out of 10. Sorry. It's like chewing on cardboard to me. 9. 9 of 10. And you? I'm going to give it a 6. Mm. It tastes like a... Hi there, Kali Poppy. How are you doing tonight? Yeah. Hey. Hey, how we are, are you? We are doing an uh, unboxing of a snack crate. I don't like it. And it is from the Caribbean. Mm-hmm. The first one we tried was the ginger biscuit. Yes, it was a ginger biscuit. It was like a wafer version of a ginger snap, and I am 100% down for it. Go ahead and read what it is, for All real. Right. So what mm. the ginger biscuits were is, this isn't your average cookie. Take a bite out of this delectable, crunchy, and ever-so-spicy biscuit. Spicy. <laughs> well, yeah. It's pretty great. Yes. I'm a fan. I particularly liked it. I I almost hated it. <laughs> well, I, you know, I'm a very much a fall person, and that is just fall to me. So. Are you saying just label it pumpkin spice and you'd be... Sign me up, white... I mean, I am like... <laughs> yeah, I'm a basic... Not gonna a, cuss on this a channel. A basic barnacle? Uh, I'm a gosh darn basic barnacle. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'm moving ever so quickly forward. Okay, where are we at? This one? Yes. Alrighty. The Caribbean is a group of 30 territories whose borders touch the Caribbean Sea. 
Made up of over 700 islands and the surrounding coastal regions, the Caribbean is located to the southeast of the North American mainland. Hmm. Delightful. Let me get the old snorkel on and dive in. Yeah. <laughs> Digging deep. This is just basically a gingerbread man. That's what these ginger biscuits were. Oh, I picked They were like one. an eighth of an inch thick. So it's, it's perfect. All right, guys. So the one I snatched out of the crate is called catch. It looks like this. She caught the catch. <laughs> Indeed, I did. <laughs> you and your snorkels. So oh, how God. we do this, if anyone's new to this channel, is we all three try it, rate it, and kind of try to guess what it actually is, and then after we talk, we will read what it actually is. Yeah. So upon looking at it, it is obviously a <laughs> chocolate bar. <laughs> I was going to just say something, but I'm not. Um, that looks like it. Ha I don't know what that it's is. Like a giant middle. nougat. Oh. Yeah, it looks like a nougat bar. Oops. Of I'll some take sort. the end. Here, you want one more? No. It's trying to break it more even. Oh well. Ow. That, oh. Well. Is that peanut butter? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know what to think of it. I mean... I think this is pretty good. It has the crispies in it again, like those darn crunch bars. <laughs> which mm -hmm. I hate. Is this like a musketeer innard? Mm-hmm. It's like a three musketeer with crunch to it. Basically, uh, it tastes like a Three Musketeer with some crunchies in it. The bad I'm... thing is, that would be one of those things that I would totally, like, binge eat. It grows on you as you eat it. Oh, yeah. Hi there, Lemon Z 77 How are you doing tonight? Um, he's asking, why do you think people call mac and cheese and not cheesy noodles? It has an easier ring to it. It just it falls off the tongue better. Probably. It was probably a corporate ploy to make it easy mm -hmm. for kids to pronounce. Indeed. Mac and cheese. You know, MAC is an, is an acronym for mac and cheese, if you think about it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> M-A-C, mac and cheese. Cricket. It's, I mean, that's a, an American thing, because, I mean, in Canada... And a lot of other European, it's like craft dinner. That's what they call it. Not macaroni and cheese. Hmm. It's just craft dinner. Thank you, Simon and Martina. Rolling back towards the catch. What would you rate this? Uh, about a seven. I agree. It was a seven for me as well. And you? I'd agree at a seven. I mean, it's not particularly great. It's one of those things that I would binge eat for no reason... It was it was pretty pleasant. Yeah, I mean let's, it was light. It wasn't heavy. Let's double check and see what it is. Soft. Decadent. I can't see. Soft decadent caramel meets light crisped rice to come together in a sweet milk chocolate. So basically what we said. So further ado. I did not call the caramel. Get your swimsuit on, Jess. You're going swimming. Oh, Clar boy, howdy. To clarify on your question, though, did we all get glasses just to match? No. We all have terrible eyesight. Yeah, I mean, just from there, I cannot I can't prepare see for major squinting. Already. Trust me, I'd rather not have to wear them. But... Yeah, if I'm not... <laughs> I see, like, eight of you. Um, <laughs> this region is home to some of the most diverse marine and land ecosystems in the world. Vast coral reefs and seagrass meadows shelter hundreds of unique species of sea life. Landscapes range from mountainous forests to dry cactus-filled plains to lush tropical rainforests. And I would live there in about 0 0.82 seconds. He's saying that it's, it's a relief that we're all blind as bats and not posers. Because he doesn't like posers. Yeah, I mean... At this point, these lenses, lenses are more scratched than lens. Yeah. Mine has a big old I, chip oh. in it. And it's just like, 
Is it helping me or hurting me see it? So I hope by next Foodie Friday I'll have a different pair of glasses because right? these are like ancient. Exactly. Man. Same. Same. All right. You know what? I'm just going to dive in. What's the barnacle? I don't know what this is, but oh no. <laughs> Check to see if there's more of yeah, those. Fish yeah, fish in see if there's more. Fish. <laughs> ah, fishing. No. Well, we might have to break it up the best we can, then. Oh! Hello! Looks like they're different flavors. Oh, boy! No, they're the same. Oh. So, I will go have these with somebody. These are dual Zura coconut and pineapple snacks. Show the crowd. Yeah, I'm getting there. This is, it's a nice funky little purple wrapper with some little cellophane. Is it an upside down pineapple cake compressed into a little package? It could be. <laughs> but I will take the smaller half of somebody's I'll split it thing. with you. We'll let Gavin have the big piece. You got it? Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got no idea, like Lemon. A... I don't know how many marshmallows I could eat oh, the God. regular size. What is this? This looks like cornbread. Ah! <laughs> thunderstorm. We're in the middle of a thunderstorm, so the thunder just scared the ever-living everything out of her. Is that okay? I just thought it was a can, and it's fine. Not really. Yeah. I'm okay, pal. It's thunderstorm night for us here. Oh. Doing all right? Oh, that's probably part of this. I thought for a second it might have been a weevil. We're fine. Aww. See, it looks like a weevil, but see with the eyesight thing, this is it. A weevil. Um, it's like a small cake. That's coconutty. You know what it reminds me of? It was an almond joy. Yeah, exactly like an almond joy with a hint of pineapple. Without the chocolate. Mm-hmm. This is the perfect balance, though. I kind of like it. Of pineapple and coconut. I would give that an 8 out of 10 for me. I could see myself eating those. Mm. Mm-hmm. And you? She's struggling. That's a bad sign. I really like it. I'm just, this isn't what I would binge on. So maybe like a six and a half. I mean, it's good, but I wouldn't, like, go nuts. I'm not a... That, that's not me. I wish it were. I'm going to give it a solid seven. Uh, apparently, I'm the odd one out. Oh. <laughs> I can't even read what, what they're saying. What did Pop say? Um, if you could choose one country to get snacks from guaranteed, which would you choose? We all want Japan. Yep. Japan and... Oh, you know, I really want to try Switzerland's box. Personally. Japan and Korea are like top for me, but also Scotland because Scotland and Germany would be a good one. Oh, Germany, yeah. Germany, Switzerland, and Japan would be my top. Yeah. Three. However, thinking. if there's an Ireland one and a Scottish one, oh, I'd be down for that. Ireland ones. and Scotland, we would be down. Oh, we're looping back. What about you? you? Yeah, where would you? Yeah, go? where would you go? Is Japan? Is Japan your top? Japan isn't my top. Ooh. Well, well then. Let me think about that for a little bit. And we'll come back to that. Hmm. Here's some more of your lovely cookie. Girl, I will take <laughs> I will take this home. Alrighty. It so has some tea. The Euro <laughs> The European slave trade brought thousands of West Africans to the region between fifteen hundred and eighteen hundred, and immigrants from China and India, Indonesia, arrived in the mm. mid-1800s to work as indentured laborers. Pirates thrived in the Caribbean between the 1500s to around 1830, as pirate-friendly port cities such as Port Royal and Tortuga offered <sighs> close proximity to major trade routes and a safe haven to hide from European navies. Yeah, yet again, Europe, wow. Hey there, Sea Dog Productions. Oh, How are you doing tonight? Sea Dog, you're back. We were waiting for you. We, you we know. were waiting for you to show up. You always show up to Foodie Fridays. Slash even Saturday. even when they're on Saturday. Go fishing. Time to fish. Cast your line. <laughs> oh Jesus. I want this thing. 
<laughs> that was intense. Ooh, these will be good, I know. So what we have St. Mary's banana chips. Yes. A little self-explanatory. I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's a dried banana. I will assume that you are correct. We're going to guess that these are ba dried bananas. Banana minions. Just then, it's a squash. <laughs> yeah. I think. What? Oh, it's cut differently from normal ones. Ta da! Ooh. Oh, oh these are good. Banana. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah. It's like a potato chip, but a banana. It's salty. Like wow, it's chip. salty. <laughs> what? Oh no, solid too. Oh no. It's getting better. <laughs> Maybe a. That's depression. It's a shame they salted them like that. Yeah. I would have given this probably about a nine if it, they didn't salt it as heavily as they did. This does have a squashy flavor. <laughs> I knew it. That's, I mean, really. You know when you'd make an acorn squash? Thank you for that host. Yeah. I really appreciate that. Oh, that's awesome. That's a spirit. Yes. <laughs> no? Okay. Okay, I'll do it for the channel. No, it's fine. You know, I'd probably give these a six. I, I'm i less Gavin. I would have gave them like a nine if they weren't so salty. It takes away from the banana flavor. It just tastes like salt. Mm -hmm. Look, Mom, I'm eating fruit. Am I healthy now? Afraid not. <laughs> Afraid not, <laughs> Afraid not. <laughs> <laughs> That's a four for me. Yeah, I'm going to stick with a six. On the I'm bright give side. It about a five. On the bright side, it doubled its base score All by right. two. So, St. Mary's banana chips. A tropical twist on a crispy snack favorite. Dried banana makes for a perfect sweet chip. They were not sweet. They were only salty. <laughs> <laughs> that is depression. Yeah, that's a shame. There wasn't any sweetness. That was just like licking a salt lick with your horse out there. Midwestern lingo. It tastes is that my like turn? horse yes. just. Oh, it's my turn. Okay. Put it down here. And you just. Mm. Nope. Mm. Known for its sparkling blue water, picturescape beaches, and tropical climate, this area has become a popular. Has become a popular. There's a typo, guys. <laughs> Look it. Has become a popular with. Never mind. A Never popular mind. Popular with. Never mind. I think I get it now. You heard it here first. Has become a popular with tourists around the globe. But the rich culture and natural diversity are what make this region a truly vibrant and fascinating destination. A perfect blend of global and uniquely Caribbean influences in a tropical paradise. Well, just gonna get my old swimsuit back on and head into the river. Because I want to try these. Oh, you get back in there. You live in a van down by the river. What is what? that? So it, I have managed to fish out strawberry ballers, which kind of look like cheese puffs, but probably are going to taste like strawberries, just a guess. I, if they are, like, freeze-dried or, like, made less dense, Ooh, am I going to like this? These smell like tricks. They do. They smell like trick cereal. Tricks are for kids. Silly rabbit. Well, <laughs> now they're a snack. I'll take my strawberry balls. Oh! Four-year-old me would have loved this. These are delicious. Not you now. I feel like it gets stuck in your teeth and you're sitting there like, a, you know. I enjoy Oh my these. goodness, good, I though. love these. Want another one? They're an eight. This is a ten. This me. is a ten. Best thing so far out of the box. I keep thinking this is the Kool-Aid man on the cover. <laughs> I think we need, like, a big old glass of milk and just... Seriously, it tastes just like tricks. 
Hello, I am Human. We are doing pretty well on this end. How are you doing tonight? I'm trying to find this. Oh. Strawberry Brawlers. Strawberry Brawlers are a corn based snack in a fun ball shape <laughs> with a sweet taste of strawberry explosion. Yeah, that about sums that up. Yep. Yep. These I'll take are some the explosions. Awesome These are delicious. Hold on. Well, that's fine. One more. We're One on more. the fun facts now. Alrighty. Thank you. Ooh. The Caribbean is the birthplace of James Bond author Ian Fleming. Uh, wait. Birthplace of James Bond, and there is a period there that I did not see. Author Ian Fleming wrote all 13 of his spy thrillers at Golden Eye, his home in Jamaica. So that's so fun. Um, all right. What we are doing is we are unboxing a snack crate from the Caribbean, and we are rating each of the snacks. I'm good, thank you. I'm diving in, I don't know. Uh-oh. It's a cookie of some form. Ovaltine cookies? Delicious barley snack? Was there another there? Yeah. I think I've heard of Ovaltine. These are the Well, bomb. it's that chocolate drink that you can have in the morning with some milk where you can oh, make it hot. Oh, that. And it has vitamins and min minerals in there. Plenty of vitamins. Open up and take your vitamins, child. I already did. This reminds me. <laughs> just flat out of those Belvita crackers. Ovaltine? Oh my goodness, I love Belvita crackers. You want some Ovaltine? You know you want some Ovaltine. You take your vitamins. <sighs> yeah, this is that in a bar form. I don't taste anything. There's a, a light chocolate taste, but it's, it's barley. One. Okay, okay. Four. My inner old woman says nine. These have stolen my heart. This I'm is a nine. A, I'm giving this a six. Nine, uh, four, six. Very, very much like a British comfort food with tea, tea and a biscuit. Don't forget to read what it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know I'll get there. Ovaltine biscuits, a delicious Jamaican barley biscuit, a traditional snack where healthy meets tasty. Yeah, that's it. That's you the stuff. You keep your health, and I'll keep these <laughs> tricks. <laughs> All righty, my turn to read a fun fact. All righty, with a heat rating of more than 1.2 million Scoville units. The Maruga Scorpion Chili Pepper from Trinidad and Tobago is one of the world's hottest peppers in the world. Well, hot jiggity dog. Yes. Go swimming. You know what? My pain's high enough today. I could probably take it. What? When you have a higher pain tolerance, mm -hmm. spice doesn't really affect you as much. Chocolate digestive. It's the digestives. Is there a second one? No. It's got to be just the one. Oh. But Lord. it's digestives. I'm so excited. I gotta read the description on this. It's also premium. Ooh. Don't forget to show the crowd. Schmancy now. Oh. It's like a, just a cookie, a chocolate cookie kind of looking thing. And y'all didn't get to see the Ovaltine, so they're fun little orange packaging. This should be served with tea. You know, I'm wondering whether it was like a... Who wants it? Oh. I want to see it. It's chocolate covered. It's not like the digestives that I've heard of. Crumbled on sour. It did. And then we still have a little piece left of that. Hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you make of this? Old Lady Cookie would eat entire box. This tastes like Eight. a cookie I've had. Yeah. It tastes like, like a graham cracker. 
This tastes like a Girl Scout cookie. <gasps> I think it tastes like those um, coconut ones. Without the coconut. Like the base, the shortbread yeah. base. Mm -hmm. So this tastes like a coconut Girl Scout cookie. Subtract the coconut. You know those stripe this... covered cookies that you can get at, you know, the dollar store? Mm -hmm. It's like those. I approve. That thing is delicious. You know what? I said an eight is probably a nine. I give it an eight. My Still old eight. woman's soul says yes. I'm going to give it a nine. But I'm going to read what this is now. Why in the heck is it called a digestive? So because it's the, that's a very British thing. It's the Devon Chocolate Digestive. Crunchy wheat meal you biscuits dipped in a delicious yeah. chocolate coating. A classic throughout Trinidad and Tobago. Hm. Well, Trinidad and Tobago. I can't. You got something right. I am human is saying, this is a very wholesome stream. Oh, thank you. We try. We do try. This is one of, this is probably one of my favorite types of streams, just eating these really delicious foods from other countries. Someone ate the other piece of that chocolate digestive. I gave it to Jessica. She only had like a, a quarter of what we I, had. True. My sliver was delicious. I had to go back for round two, okay? I... I ended up with a giant chunk at the end. He's going like, to be writing a letter to the manager. I am a very angry woman. <laughs> <laughs> Please send 18 digestives post haste. <laughs> Love and unicorns. Time to go Gavin swimming. Having a good time. After you read this. Which one are we on? Okay. Oh, yeah. Sure. Residents of colonial Cuba could be punished for insulting a bird. Let that sink in. The feathers of the Cuban dragon were seen as representing the red sash worn by Spanish kings. Hmm. Don't you be making fun of birds, Gavin. Remember that next time you but take Polly your... wants a cracker. I didn't swim very far. You just tipped your toes oh, in no. There. Well, this one's called Bigfoot. <laughs> Bigfoot spicy picante. I thought at first glance it was going to be like cheesy. Something. You thought it was going to be foot flavor there, didn't you, pal? It's a cheese snack. So if this is like flaming Hot Cheetos, I'm trash. <laughs> Need help. But you said no pocket knives on the stream. No weapons of any kind. Well, I better go home. <laughs> I am a bombshell. Oh my goodness. That was terrible. Should have been a challenge. They're already popping out of joint. I couldn't have. Thank you, Mr. Man. It looks like it's going to be flaming Hot Cheetos Oh, tonight. that looks like intestinal <laughs> death. It's a foot. <laughs> it is a foot. Come here, feet. Is it going to taste like a foot, though? It tastes like a, a flaming Hot Cheeto. Yeah, it is. That's exactly what it is. Nice try, Bigfoot. They've weapons, got more of a residual kick, though. Apparently, weapons equal wholesome. And these Good. are flaming Hot Cheetos. They have more of a kick. They do have a slight bit more kick. Probably I, cool. yeah... I'll take the big toe. <laughs> These are pretty good. I actually give them an 8 out of 10. I'm going to give them about an 8. Oh, yeah. That's an 8. Yes, I want more of this. Ugh. I'll go ahead and read what it is, but it's pretty obvious. Giant-sized puff cheese snack has an unexpected spicy twist. So, flaming hot Cheeto. Yes. Illuminating. All right. Saba is home to the shortest airport runway in the world. At 1,312 feet, it's 22% of the length of an average runway. Happy landings! 
Yikes. It, is it a runway for mice? <laughs> the mice, they fly. Time to go swimming. Oh no. Coco Crispy. It's a Coco Crisp. And the eye is a little palm tree. So that's a good time. It's because we're in the Caribbean. Mm-hmm. It's by Charles Chocolates. How wholesome. You keep that wholesomeness away from me. I'm eating my spicy beef. You... Never mind. What was that? I feel like there is something that the youths say about being spicy or something or other. I don't know. They're too old. Where's my cane, Margaret? So it looks very similar to the catch on appearance. Yes. I'll take that. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was quite an uneven cut. Very uneven. Nobody said that I had depth perception. Uh, is that coconut? Uh, <laughs> That's exactly what that is. I was going to say there was a chance considering there was a coconut tree on it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, five. The coconut is a little underwhelming to me. It's an almond joy mixed with a crunch bar. That's a good way to put it. I was gonna say it's the catch bar with coconut added to it. Yeah. Guess what? I like it. Hmm. Four out of ten for me. Aww. I'm also going to give it about a five. That's a shucky darns. Let's see here. Cocoa crisp, tender coconut flavor combined with light crisp rice drenched in milk chocolate. The perfect dessert. You know what? I'll take a digestive over that any day. Right? I'll take more of these over that any day. These little strawberry things are delicious. Ah. Strawberry and the feet. Are the winners for me so far. Give me some Ovaltine, pal. <laughs> and some tea. Alrighty, so. Dominica is home to the second largest boiling lake in the world. With temperatures ranging from 180 to 197 degrees Fahrenheit, we don't recommend stopping by for a swim. You don't say. And just when I was planning on a foot soak... <laughs> Why? You want to have spicy picante feet? That's, that's how they're made. No. <laughs> I mean, I could turn my oven on. <laughs> no. And just throw a bowl of water in there. there you we go. are fine. <laughs> the sticker! Soiled Get it. Off. Soiled it. Soiled it. Soiled it. Soiled that. We have chick and chips. What is it? Chicken chips. Chicken chips? I see if a this is Chick like and chips. If this is like... Uh, With ketchup flavoring. With ketchup chicken flavoring? Chicken and what the... Now, this is going to be is, weird. Is, is this going to be like American ketchup where it's like salty? Or is it going to be sweeter like most Asian ketchups? What the? It's a French fry. What? I'll take some fries. It's a bagged french fry. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, it tastes like ketchup. Ketchup stretch. That's... St okay. Where I went to college, there was a small restaurant called Donald's. And this is like the ketchup that they made. They made it with ketchup stretch. Just like the smaller restaurant chains did in the 70s. <laughs> Well, Sea Dog thinks these things are great. Because he, respo he responded with, hell yeah. Sea Dog, you and I, we got this. This is this is great. This tastes like french fries and ketchup. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. This is great. This is, I was not expecting that to come out of a bag. There's no chicken flavor, though. Uh-uh. I approve, though.
It says crunchy stick and drumstick shaped corn snacks flavored with uh, tasty ketchup seasoning. There you go. So it's not. Wait, are they made out of chickpeas? Did I miss that? Corn. It's a corn snack. Okay. Most of these were. Uh, farfing new. I can't read. Someone says, Donald, you're making me miss college. Yes! Yes. Um, it was Kali Poppy. Yeah, that's Kali Pop. Well, what would you rate it? Oh. Solid nine for nostalgia. Six. Seven. It, yes. Nostalgia factor. Yeah. I love all the emojis in the chat today. Yes, there's a I, lot of emojis in the I chat. I can't even tell what they are from over I here, but they are you. adorbs. Um, most of them look like anime girls. Yes. Then we have some hearts, an okay symbol, mm -hmm. and a sad face. Mm -hmm. You know what? <laughs> Holy anime girls. <laughs> I have that Soul Eater theme song stuck in my head still, so that that's right up my alley. A noogle? Is it a noogle? A uh, noogle. Nuggle. Noogle nuggle. The <laughs> nuggle noogle. We are going to <laughs> quit finagling with the noogle. Nuggle noogles. Is it another chocolate bar? Yes. No, this is crap. <laughs> well, it may look like... No, I was just yesing the this looks Anime like girls something. on the thing. This looks like looks like a peanut cluster from here. I can't tell what it is. Like chocolate covered peanuts. Holy anime! See? <laughs> anime invaded my chat. Yes. <laughs> Shit. I'll take the small one. You can have the big one. Come back. And I, I very no. much appreciate the anime of invading my chat. I will fix that later. However, I need to eat this. This really reminds me of something. I found my pen. I think it reminds me of a of a outrageous bar. Mm -hmm. By Reese's. This kind of reminds me of a baby roof. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that too. That's basically what this is, is a baby roof. Let's check. I like the name better though. Noogle. Nuggle Noogle? It's a 10. I don't know where that drops. The Nuggle Noogle, a rich combination of crunchy peanuts, chewy fudge, and a creamy car caramel dipped in milk chocolate. So a baby roof. Mm -hmm. It's a 10. It's a 10 for me. It's a 9 for me. It's about an 8. I really wish I hadn't burned my mouth earlier in the evening worse than it already was. Go ahead. Oh, Jiminy. Jiminy Cricket. We're down to our last box Come item. back. I know it's attractive. Leave it. Tiki. Gold coconut craze. That seems to be a theme. It is islandy. Or tropical. Come on, you. Err. Here's... That's a wafer. There we go, those are even. Adjacent. Coconut wafer. That mm -hmm. smells heavenly, though. That's good. I can't really taste it. <gasps> Reference the burnt mouth. 9 out of 10 for me. I'm also giving this one an 8 out of 10. I like that one. Yeah. It's an 8 for wonderful texture alone. Coconut flavors from the Caribbean island roots find its way between layers of wafer and chocolate and a sweet treat. Mm -hmm. Delish. Yes. Now, we had a technical difficulty this month. I didn't get a drink. Again. Again. I did make sure that that's going to be different next time. So we will have a drink in the next crate. I made sure of it. 
but we decided to find a weird drink to try anyway for the sake of having it. We have a couple, actually. Um, we have something called Petey's Bing, and it's uh, made with blackberry juice. Here's a can. Says it's refreshing. Yes. We're about to find out. <laughs> Complete with the we run bare because we care <laughs> shot glass. That's, a, you know, atrocious throwback. No drink well. I know. I oh, no, no, no. No, no. Okay, we're good. What? It was I good thought it was going to go over. Poop. And then it did. On the stick, ladies and gentlemen. You have to pour it kind of quick, otherwise it'll... Drip everywhere. So, thank goodness this time I had paper towels ready. Like Somebody that? had forethought. For once in her life. Huh, no mess. Well, I spoke too soon. There's oh, a drop. you know what? Carbonated juice? Most likely. Wow, lots of vitamins. How about sugar? Only 10 grams. That's not bad. Or 8 grams of sugars, but 10 of carbs altogether. That's less than a snack. Let's give it a shot. Yep. Not bad. I love blackberries. Kinda I remind, really like that. Kind of reminds me of that wine we bought not too far back that was blackberry. Yeah, Ooh. that blackberry wine is pretty good. Really? Yeah. You'll have to tell me because I, I love blackberry brandy, but I want something better. Anime girls are all I can see. I can't read from this distance, chat. That's mostly what it is. That's a bunch of emojis. I can't read what they said before, but yeah. Um, no drink. Wow! Yeah! I blew it. Next up we have this hum. It's a blueberry this mint This kills thing. me. Kombucha. It's a kombucha. If you don't want to try it, I'll do it. Oh, I'll try it. Oh, you'll try it? But if I die, I'm haunting you first. Fine, I'll drink the rest, and you can hate me from beyond the grave. <laughs> Don't care. Willing to try anything. Says the guy who won't eat the ranch. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I will pour this into your soul. Basically, I love it for, or I love the idea of it for the probiotics. I know nothing other than that. We're not being sponsored either. Nope, we're not being sponsored by any of these people. We are just trying these because we can. Here we go. This is gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt my belly in like a, a ten minute time frame. Oh, that feels good. I like it. Why don't you like this? Hmm. It's fermented tea. I like the other it's gonna drink be better. Burning in your belly in ten minutes. I will drink the rest of this. Oh, two servings, huh? Glah! Zero out of ten! <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> that Bing thing, however, because we didn't rate it, I'll give that a seven out of ten. This is dangerous. I'll oh. drink the whole thing. I'll say that the Bing was probably also a seven out of ten, but I didn't like this as well, and I'm just going to give it a five. Oh, this is, this is great. I'll take the lid, though. Yes, take the lid. I'll drink the rest later. Or tomorrow. What? Describe to me what you tasted, because I can't... Death? 
You know when you reach in the fridge and grab orange juice after you brush your teeth? That's what that was! Really? <laughs> <laughs> I liked it! It was mild! Well, to get that taste out of your mouth, we have special treats today. Yes, oh. we explored the internet and found a recipe to cook. Yes, so we, snack. so we cooked a snack today. After months and months, Don't and I do mean months, forget the ranch. of saying we were going to do this and not doing this for one reason or another, it finally happened. Today was the day that we tried a video of a snack. On Facebook. On Facebook, mind you. It's fine. <laughs> that looks scary. We have bacon wrapped pickles. Yep. Bacon wrapped pickles. And some ranch. <laughs> <laughs> you can't take the Midwest out of anything. This mine. I present to thee. I can't read. Here we go. I actually like these better if I'm not scorching. Mm -hmm. If you have to ask me for a rating on this, my rating is about a 12 out of 10. 20 out of 10. Everything I had hoped bar food to be, out of but 10. it wasn't. Somebody asked us something. Um, uh -huh. Can I send recipes? You can. You can send a recipe. Mm -hmm. As long as it's not too uh, convoluted, I guess. Yeah, not too elaborate. It wasn't. We At literally just bought a kosher dill pickles, spears, and wrapped them in bacon and threw them in the oven. It sounds like an odd treat, but it's really, really good. So It is classic Midwest America. You just get a deer pickle spear, wrap it in bacon, cook it. For, at 425 degrees and we ended up cooking these for 25 minutes instead of 15 because, because at 15 the bacon wasn't cooked yeah this is like a nice texture of bacon it's not my super crispy bacon that's desecrated and absolutely cremated on there but it's good it's very very buttery and it kind of melts in your mouth yeah it's foodie friday I'm responding to someone here. Could possibly extend farther than the snack crate if you want us to try certain, let's say, snack dishes so it's not like making a four-course meal or something. Yeah. Just a snack like these. Right. Although, we'd be open to that. Possible hot pot night for Foodie Friday? Yeah. Yeah. If the audience wants to witness it. We, I mean, we if we never get our Japanese snack crate, we can always make Japan happen for us. It's got to come sooner rather than later. That's good. So we forgot to do one thing as we sprinted for our bacon pickles, which are the bomb, by the way. <laughs> Say what you will about them being bomb weird. Bomb.com. But holy cow. We didn't um, rate the snacks. We didn't rate the snacks, so we got to go back and rate these. Um... Best to worst, all together. We'll I'll start. Take the box. We'll start with Jessica okay. and go this way. I was just gonna set it on the there. Yeah, that also oh, includes. Well, no, we won't include the drinks because they weren't from the snack crate. But yeah, yeah. So go ahead and start, Jess. We all know pickles. Yeah, is the top. It's, pickles, it's the bomb. But pickles is not part of the snack. Crate. Pickles will always wear the crown in this match, but it, it has a special place in my heart. Namely, it has a my special, arteries. It um, has a special place in everyone's arteries. Uh, I can stay in my arteries okay. any day of the week. The top, I have three that are tied for first. Yeezy. <laughs> I, this is this is too much. It's too much sugar. The Ovaltine, the digestives, and the fantastic 
ginger cookies, ginger wafers, ginger biscuits. <laughs> Whatever ginger the charm. ginger is, it's in there. Um, then I think the chicken chips followed by the noogle. Uh, oh, Bigfoot. Bigfoot's in there too. That's a, that's a top one. That's not a foot. Choco Crisp. Tiki Gold. Ow. The Catch. These strawberry things. And then I think down there, clear at the bottom, is this coconut pineapple thing. <gasps> I am attacked. No, I lied. <laughs> the banana chips are just... <laughs> Why, Caribbean? So you can go lick the salt lick. You know what? I've tasted better salt licks out there with the horses than this oh. one. <clears throat> See how... Oh, out. did you get the catch? Yeah, catch is in there. So let me see if I yeah, no. followed your list here. No. <laughs> the cardboard ginger. Ovatine. Chicken chips. Nuggle. Bigfoot. Tiki gold. Cocoa crisp. Is it, is, well, hold on. Never mind. That's, that's an extra. What, what about this here? Crisp and the catch are right there. This one comes directly before the banana chips, but right after the strawberry stuff. You hate everything I love. And I'm writing a note to the manager. <laughs> <laughs> the banana chips were not a sweet thing. They were really, really salty. Like, I get why it worked. From a scientific standpoint, I understand that it's a carb, just like the potato, that they did something with. And turned it salty and fried it, I'm assuming. But I love my sweet bananas. Okay. <whistles> what a blow up. <laughs> Sorry. So how would you rate them? Well, let's begin. Let me look at all of them again. For me... It might actually be just about the exact opposite of Jessica's. <laughs> okay, so for me, these little strawberry balls were really good. I think they were my favorite of the box. Followed by Bigfoot. I really enjoyed Bigfoot. Next in line was probably the Tiki. Which was the coconut wafer, right? Yes. Okay. Followed by... Looking for Noogle? Yes. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm There's amazed Noogle. the Noogle hasn't come up yet. And then... Not you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Our... <laughs> probably, um... Well, probably get a chicken crisp. Good. These two were very similar to yeah. me. Honestly, they're very interchangeable. They'll just hang out with each other. Right down here, I'm going to put the digestive <laughs> ahead of it. Followed by... Not you. Oh. The Ovatine. Um, oh my goodness, I forgot this little gem. The pineapple thing that someone just loathes. I'm going to put it up here in third. What? That's right. <laughs> This is a tough choice. Oh, how <laughs> dare you equate them? Oh, I'm going to have to sit this one at last because okay. it's so overwhelmingly salty that you can't taste the banana. Okay. So there you go. Strawberry ball, Bigfoot, pineapple cake thing, tiki wafer, no noogle, chicken chips, digestive, the interchangeable crunch wannabes, Ovatine, ginger biscuit, banana chip for me. My old woman's soul is hurt and hindered. Do tell us, <laughs> O oh leader of the stream, what do you think of tonight's snack crate? Go ahead. I agree with the strawberries being at the top. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> you are the Get out of here. Um, I actually liked the spice of this, so that's saying right where it's at, too. Noogle! <gasps> okay, that's agreeable. 
Um. Where is it? I can't believe you're still drinking because of that toothpaste orange juice. It's not. <laughs> it's mint and blueberry. I'm going to put <laughs> these after the noodle. The interchangeable cocoa crisp and catch. Yuck. Um. The chocolate digestive goes after them. Good. Ginger goes after that. Score one for the boys back home. Uh, the French fries. The pineapple thing. Why does everyone hate that so much? I didn't hate it. <laughs> he just didn't approve of it. How the actual bleep did pineapple lose out to the interchangeable great value looking crunch bars? Because I like crunch. Ugh! <laughs> <laughs> Um, we'll do Ovaltine, the Tiki Co- The coconut craze had a lot of coconut in it. It kind of overpowered really? it a slight bit. Or which I one- I thought that was- I oh. can't believe what I'm hearing. The Tiki Gold, no, chip chip on the bottom? Chippity chip chip? That's the, that's the wafer one, right? Yes! Oh, this is the wafer. Wow, okay, so you were thinking this one, with the pineapple things on there. Is what probably because this one... was the op over pineapple. <laughs> that <laughs> coconut. You're right. Switch those around. There you go. Okay, I can sleep a little easier because this one was really just not great. And then the banana chips at the bottom. Good, but also they were overwhelmingly salty, and I agree that you couldn't hardly taste any of the banana flavor. There is a little bit, but it's not very strong. And when you're advertising something as a banana chip, you need to have a strong banana flavor. <laughs> yes. But the real winner of the stream is nope. kombucha. Mm -hmm. Just free. It's, it's the bacon pickle. Yeah, that's The true. bacon pickle is the truest of winners. But, I mean. But we can't include this because it's not part of the snack crate. That's true. But yeah, so if anyone wants to see any snack that they see floating around on social media created on this stream we're talking like the buzzfeed of mm -hmm. of the internet foodie send it culture. to us as long as it's what you would call a snack yeah we can probably produce it indeed and thank you new viewers yes tonight that was fun this Especially was a... the anime folks. So this was a good old time from the Caribbean. Caribbean. Yes, Caribbean. Does anybody want no more? No? Get that away from me. <laughs> okay, it's about to be gone. <laughs> so, did anyone else have anything they want to add to this? Yes. More kombucha. <laughs> not that um last few times we've been ranking the snack crates as a whole how would you rank them now including the caribbean oh this is up there there was nothing that i loathed pineapple chips this is this is pretty well up there i mean still the Salty licorice box is <laughs> <laughs> pretty low. Um, I liked Spain. Where were we last time? No, oh, they're all running together. I oh. know. So worldly. Um, I think Spain was our last one, wasn't it? It had the weird plum cookie thing. I think it was the Philippines. Philippines. Oh, Philippines was yeah. last time because yeah. we had the yams. The Philippines was a time before that. What? I thought. I can get that answer. Ah, yes. To the internet, where all things are answered. Actually, I can get it pretty fast, too. I'm going to just go to Snack Crate. Let's see. Playlist. They love Snack a good crate, playlist. Beautiful one. Last one is his. Oh, Finland. Finland was the last one. No? That's not right. Finland was like the second one we did. Yeah. The... 
Um, Are the those... Philippines was the last one. Okay. Poland was pretty good, too. Yes. Finland was the first one with the salty licorice, right? Yes. And then Spain. Okay, so Spain was right before the Philippines, so I was kind of not right. all the way wrong. But yes. I did love the Philippines. Philippines, this one, Spain. Poland. I don't remember much about Poland. It's because there wasn't anything to... Poland? We did one from Poland. Yes. There wasn't a ton of good snacks in that one. Didn't... I liked Poland, a few of them. Poland was the one with the licorice. No, that's Finland. Finland had the licorice. Poland. Oh, I remember... I remember doing a lot of stupid accents and really loving it. Poland was fun. But the snacks were mediocre, if I remember right. I think I think we can all agree that Philippines is pretty well up there. The Philippines for me had the golden snack. Is number it's 1. Sweet. It was the most fun to try. It was the most different so far. That yam thing, that yam sponge cake was still the top snack we've had so far. Philippines still at a strong number one for the best. Next in line would probably be what all the, we did Poland. Oh, we've done Hawaii too. We Hawaii have. Hawaii was the first one. Hawaii is still on the bottom for yep. me. <laughs> Hawaii is number five because the snacks were not. Number six. Well, whatever. They're the last one. Yeah. They were not great to me. They it was a starter Plum box. Candy. It was a starter box. It was half the size it should have been. Everything inside of it was just kind of mediocre to me. Um next next second to worst for me in my book is actually this box. Hmm. There's nothing I absolutely loved in this box. You oval teen take that back. <laughs> Like, no, I agree. <laughs> there was a lot of eh, four sixes in this one. So when you compare it to the other boxes we've done, this one just didn't really jump out and bite me. Um, this was pretty good, but at the same time... It tasted like a cereal it, that you can get off the shelf. It tasted like a cereal, basically. Like, and that's pretty much what it was. was a, Ooh, there's one more. <laughs> was a cheese puff that was strawberry instead. Which we have that here, actually. Anyway, um, so those two are the bottom for me. But um, top two was probably... Was Finland the one with the orange drink? Yes. That one's probably yeah. going to be second then, because that was... That, that drink was, was incredible. Yeah, that one was great. Though it had that nasty licorice in it, it was also very fun to try that because the snacks were very different. Um, yeah. Spain is... I'll just leave it as third because it was pretty solid. For some reason, none of us can remember Poland, which is probably a bad sign. So that's probably going to be in the middle for me. How about you? And what was number one? Philippines. Was I'm, I'm doing one. some research. That one was the most fun to try, and everybody had really high ratings for that one. Hello, Trolley Bear. We're doing pretty well. How are you doing tonight? I'm trying to figure out what was in the Poland snack crate because I got to figure it out, man. Everything. If I remember oh, they right, had pretzels in the Poland one. If I remember right, there was an overwhelming amount of chocolate in that one. It was just yeah. chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Which happened, Poland had so much chocolate. That happened here too. That was Spain. Are you sure? Spain was worse. They had a lot of. Sp oh yeah. Maybe I am mixing them up. How come we can't remember Poland? I mean, there's there's chocolate here too. Okay, Poland. We had. Um. Maybe I got them flipped then. Yeah, we had the onion potato chips. Oh, the that's lopsy. right. We had pretzels. That's right. Okay. We had... 
We didn't get the drink. We no, got chip. We had a drink. Prince Polo with a wafer with a dark chocolate. Actually, that's not true. We did get the drink with that one. We had the gingerbread heart, too. We had the drink, and it just tastes like what your leg feels like when it goes to sleep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. So, yeah, that one deserves yeah, its spot in the middle because it just wasn't... The contents of it just wasn't great. We had the rice cake with chocolate on it. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you're doing amazing, oh. Trolley Bear. The sweet bread. Oh, God, yes. That oh. was the one with the nasty bread the thing. Aha uh -huh sesame <laughs> snack, which I thought was like a Nature Valley bar. Um, don't remember that. So anyone oh. that's... The Jiziki. We had the Jizikis, too. Oh, I love them. Anyone that's still viewing... Um, any Sorry. particular country you want to see us try? I don't have a say in it, but I do want to know everyone's opinion. I got, these get sent out at random. Yes. I don't have any, I thought at one time I did, but I don't. They just choose whatever it is and send it to you, so. Ah, uh, so your name is Trolley Bear instead of Trolley Bear. Gotcha. Ah, neat. Mexico. I know, I yeah. know. We're waiting for Mexico to pop up. But Believe look at me, Spain. if I could order tacos or like even empanadas, mainly enchiladas, to be delivered to my door, Bigfoot. I would. <laughs> like, my, my mouth has been on fire for days. Not because of that, but no. Those pickles. Trolley. Oh. Trolley Bear is thinking the same thing as Sea Dog. He wants to see Mexico. Mexico would be great. Mexico would be pretty cool. I want to see Japan, personally. Japan. Although, I don't know if I can handle the seaweed snacks. I like the idea. Seaweed takes a lot to get used to for this landlocked girl. It just, I, I don't know. Although, let's face it, if fancy ramen Yum. would be great. Yeah, you, you take that. Unfortunately, you can't have any more of this wonderful oh, blueberry. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyone, oh, I know. How unfortunate for you. Anyone just tuning in, my hate for this, I'll explain it. Kombucha? What is it called? Hum? Yeah. Hmm. That's because they were like, hmm, should we have really made this? Anyway... <laughs> Flavors blackberry mint. It's, blueberry. Oh, blueberry mint. Mm -hmm. um, this is basically a probiotic, healthy beverage thing. Um, what it tastes like to me is uh, you freshly brush your teeth and then reach for the orange juice. That's what this is. And See, I just. It I didn't. Taste I want to light it on fire. To me. It really wasn't intense. It was just very smooth and like a hint of that stuff. Also, for people just tuning in, I had a technical difficulty. I didn't get a drink with this crate, but we decided to do what we've done previously. Get a couple weird drinks just to try for the sake of trying them. So we had a Bing, which is a blackberry juice. It's carbonated, basically, and that abomination of a beverage over there. <laughs> you know, everybody had built up kombucha to be this vinegary, terrible thing. You know Did what? you taste vinegar? No. However, okay. the organic brand... <laughs> don't sue me, Safeway. The organic <laughs> brand I tried one day, and my belly burned for half an hour. And it tastes like vinegar and broken dreams. Yeah, a lot of the things that they try yeah. and pass off as organic are really not. Yeah. So... Okay. So... Hey. Anger taken out on ASMR little things. You're forgetting one, pal. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and call it a stream then. Okay. It has been great chatting with you guys. And it thanks has been for putting up a with lot us. of fun with this one. Um, we just get these about once a month for those who don't know about it. Um, so about once a month we do these snack crates. And we never know when the, where they're going to be coming from until they about ship out. And then we'll figure out where they're I from. I know the first week of the month. Okay, we know the first week of the month. <laughs> um, 
For everybody just tuning in, we're also considering trying a new portion of Foodie Friday. If you ever see any interesting recipes of snack items on social media that you want us to try, you should let us know and we'll yeah. give it a shot. Tonight we gave it a shot with the bacon-wrapped pickles that are going pretty viral on Facebook and they were gosh darn good. Resounding success. Mm -hmm. Yes. Would make again. Yes. So anyways, with that said, we're going to go ahead and call it night and you guys all have a beautiful night. You guys Bye. all take care. See you later, alligator. After a while, <laughs> crocodile. See you soon, raccoon. What is the one lollipop? There's a lollipop one in there. Bye. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Let me look it up. Yeah, yeah.